Hey, and welcome to this quick little video. I'm gonna show you guys a mashup that I put together. I call it Click Canvas. Basically what it does, it's a more or less a blank page that allows you to connect into all your ClickSense apps, load them in and access the uh, master library visualizations, drag and drop those in pixel perfectly and, and retain all the interactivity between the objects. And I've added a couple of sort of custom navigation buttons and custom current selections and, and the possibility to sort of save and restore these layouts. So I'll give you a quick uh, introduction to how it works. First, what you do is you go ahead and pick an app. I'll go with the executive dashboard because it's something that everyone is familiar with. So we'll drag out a few of the visualizations here. We'll start with this revenue by product. We'll add the expenses as a percentage of sales. And what else do we have? Customer revenue versus expense. This is a good one. There we go. Very nice. So quickly we'll put together our own sort of compilation of visualizations that we want to see. And of course we have all the interactivity between the objects. Uh, I make selections. It automatically filters down uh, the other views. And if you look at the bottom of the screen here, you see my current selections box is being populated. So I've made selections in the account description field and I've selected 31 out of 130 customers. So I can go ahead and clear these fields one by one down here, or I can use the main navigation buttons up here to go ahead and clear all my selections at once. So now that I've laid out something on my canvas that I'm, I'm kind of happy with and I want to save it so I can access it when I come back another time, I go ahead and click my Save Layout button and I give it a name. Call it My Super Canvas. And save it. And go ahead and remove all the objects. So let's pretend I, I come back and I want to restore my layout. I go ahead and pick my Super Canvas from here. and the Click Canvas app will drop out all your visualizations again and, and restore the connectivity to your Click app. Okay, let's go ahead and clear this. Um, you also have the possibility to use all of the extension objects and everything uh, around that. So I'll drag out one extension I created a while back. Uh, it's a uh, S3 integration and the current map is a map of Southern California. Uh, so on the left hand side I have the S3 map extension, on the right hand side I have a Google map extension. So I'll go ahead and select a couple of the couple of the dots here. And as you can see you know it filters down my selection and it's filtering down my other extension as well. So the extensions here behave just like any other visualizations uh, in the in the Click Canvas application. So I'll go ahead and remove these. I'll go ahead and clear my current selection. Um, what other extensions do we have? Yeah, the D3 visualization library. These are great. You can use all the fancy collapsible force charts. Um, you want to have the customized bar charts and whatever. So these are all available and uh, can be used. And I've prepared a couple of predefined layouts here that I can pull in. Um, we have my help desk case overview, for example. It loads in my visualizations from my help desk management application. Now, you can combine visualizations from multiple applications. So say that I'm currently looking at these three rankings of my high priority, medium priority and low priority cases from the help desk management application. Maybe I want to add a visualization from my consumer sales application. I want to see the sales by state. I'm not sure if it's very relevant in this context, but let's, let's add it there either way. So on your view, you can combine uh, visualizations from multiple applications. Um, and you can save that and have that as your kind of main KPI view where you're looking at combined KPIs across multiple different app, app models. And let's take a look again at the executive dashboard. So I'll drop out a 
table here at the bottom and then we'll combine it with something from consumer sales uh, maybe put our sales reps variance, sales variance and accounts so you can use all the tables all the charts all the extensions everything um, the only thing that you cannot do at the moment is when you're making selections in, in one application in the executive dashboard here for example it's not automatically propagating to the other application because they're leveraging on different data models it's something I might look at for a future version but uh, as of now uh, all the selections are being made in the context of the app so now that I filtered my executive dashboard on account group general cost you can see nothing happened on the consumer sales application here um, but if I pull open my executive dashboard uh, and let's see I wonder if there's a visualization where we might actually see something here these really don't affect each other um, but as you can see all the visualizations that are part of the same app um, do get filtered uh, when you're making selections within that app so it's basically just a quick uh, canvas to, to pull out the visualizations from the master libraries of the different apps. And you can combine those into the kind of view that you want, if you want to take snapshots of it and then go and put that into PowerPoint presentations and so forth um, without having to go through multiple different sheets and multiple different apps uh, inside ClickSense to, to try and pull it together. And you can save those and, and restore those as and when you need them to see, hey, what are my updated values, my KPIs, and so forth. So thank you so much for taking a look. I hope you enjoyed it. You can find this mashup and download it on Click Branch. Uh, so go there and take a look and leave me a comment if there's something that's not working properly or something that you would like to see added to it. All right, thanks, guys.